Hi folks. Uh, in this experiment here, uh, it's another magnesium experiment, and the goal here is to try to determine if the magnesium oxide that's going to form here on the plate as we use the battery, whether that's going to hurt uh, the cell or, or help it. And we should see some kind of evidence th of that as, as we go. <coughs> now, the, the way I've got figured out to do that is we'll just make the very simplest battery as we can. Uh, so if this is just pure graphite and distilled water, and this is just pure titanium di dioxide and, and distilled water. And uh, we've got a typing paper piece of, uh, for the separator here. And thus far, this is the only paper that we've had that these uh, graphite and titanium don't bleed through. So uh, that way we'll keep our uh, half cell reactions separate. And uh, if uh, I've got the uh, graph foil on the bottom with the copper collector on the back of it. And I'm just going to paint some graphite on there to help with the uh, store of some energy. And then we're going to. Now let's put the separator on there. I've got borax, and this is borax in there too to um, help link the cell together. And then we'll just paint titanium straight on the on our magnesium. Okay. Seventy-six, and we're slowly dropping. And I think uh, we determined last time it'll drop down to like in the one sixties and stop. But we'll let it stabilize here. All right now, it's slowing down. There it was. Well, let's just short it out and then we'll let it climb back up to where it stops. Alright, let's see what kind of amps we get. 50. So we had 50 milliamps there. That was pretty good. That's a really nice, uh, steady climb back up. I think I'll just uh, short it out every time at 150. That way we have a consistent uh, figure in the, to work from, to compare every time. I'm slowing down. So our initial voltage was 176 and dropping, and then when we shorted it, we got 50 something point something milliamps, and we're almost back to 150 where I'll short it again, 
and I'll keep doing the same thing and I'll show you parts of it so we don't have to wait forever. Short it again. 200 milliamp setting. And this time 68. 68 milliamps. So I'll be back. I'll write all this down and I'll be back. Okay, I'm back. I just wrote it everything down. And we're now at one. 45, 3, 4, and climbing. So we'll short it again as soon as it gets back to 150. That was a pretty quick climb back to 150. It might have been faster than the first time because all I did was stop, recorded the data, and then came back. Short it again. We had 68 milliamps last time. Here we go. 83. Climb to 83. So it's getting stronger. Looks to me like we went from 50.1 to 68.3 to 83. say just from the uh, three discharges we've had already that uh, it looks like it's improving to me. Charge and recharge, self charge. I keep saying recharge. It is a recharge, but self charge is more accurate and descriptive. Well, it looks like we're going to make it back to 150, okay? as it uh, builds up more charge, able to hold more charge in it, I think that slows the uh, charge rate down some, especially near the top. All right, 149, we're almost ready for the fourth discharge. All right, let's see if we can beat 83 milliamps. Alright, here goes. 82. So it looks like we've peaked at uh, 
82 milliamps out of that little piece and that's uh, about two centimeters by four centimeters that we've got on there okay all right so there we have it I think the magnesium oxide is or the uh, yeah is helping it thanks for watching I'm back I just let the battery set for a few minutes to reach its uh, stable uh, voltage on a full recharge and you can see it's at 157.3 and holding right there uh, it's almost 157.4 but it's holding right in that area right there so there's your our stable voltage after uh, four self charges and discharges and actually it looks like it's still climbing it's 157 five so uh, just wanted to show you that too thanks for watching I'm real happy with the uh, test results here this is by far the uh, most powerful biocell I've built and it doesn't even have any electrolytes in it um, and it also appears that the corrosion or oxidation of, of the magnesium uh, benefits the cell so uh, this definitely uh, deserves some more research. Okay, now we have a new question, though, that needs to be answered. Uh, we also saw an improvement in the amps in the uh, zinc uh, carbon felt test we ran yesterday. So, and I hypothesized that maybe that was the result of uh, structuring of all the material in the carbon felt, but perhaps it was really uh, zinc oxide, another semiconductor, uh, forming on the, uh, on the zinc. So uh, we need to answer that question. Uh, tomorrow will be carbon felt test again. See you then.